Hello from the land of TV. This is King Cool with my very first episode of the as of yet unnamed uh, highly random uh, movie review show. Al. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing a movie that no one suggested, uh, which seems like a really stupid way to start. But I was uh, someone suggested Jackie Brown, which I, I'll put up a little subtitle. I think that'll say who uh, who suggested it. Um, uh, I, I don't remember off the top of my head. I don't have it written down. Um, and uh, in Jackie Brown, the suggestion, the first thing came up was Jackie Brown, I believe. And then the second thing right below it was a movie from 1971 called Vampiros Lesbos. And it's like, all right, you have my attention. And uh, I'm sorry to tell you, it's actually about inner city uh, school children who are struggling to beat their math final, or it's, no, it's, it's about exactly what it seems like, oh boy, and I'm falling, well, that's fun, um, yeah, it's about vampire lesbians, etc., so I'm like, alright, well, how can you not like it, um, so, uh, I rented it first, it was the first one to arrive, um, and, you know, to everyone's surprise, including mine, it's actually really bad. Which is a shame, because I was like, oh, this would be a fun little, uh, something or other. Uh, uh, a fun little, uh, um, bad movie or something. It's like, no, not really. This is really just sort of, uh, it's just not that good. Uh, it's old-fashioned. Like, just, just a few, not long ago, last week, I think, I saw The Omega Man, which is also, I believe, 1971. Um, and, uh, and, uh, ah, damn. Um... It's like, okay, it's old. It's, you know, old-fashioned. It's badly edited. It's badly um, uh, ADR'd. But at least has something to say. This is a movie of just basically pure exploitation in the sense that nothing, uh, nothing in it really means anything. It's just a big setup to have uh, naked women and, uh, and lesbian and, and, and uh, vampire stuff, which is all fine, but nothing is really compelling about it. I mean, except for the pulchritude of the main actresses. It's like, since it's 1971, they don't really do anything, so it's all just sort of in their mind. Uh, so, it's sort of like, well, it's, it's obviously it's not pornography. It's simply unrated, and I don't think I'd want it to be pornography, but uh, it's all just, you know... It, I, I suppose the question that I have to get to is, is it erotic? And it's like, eh, not really, because there's no, there's no passion in the movie. Despite the the whole vampire subplot, there's nothing. There's no passion. There's just people st staring at one another with this hypnotized look, and it's sort of boring. Now and. One other thing I'm going to get into is this movie has probably the worst looking fake blood I've seen in any kind of movie. It's like, how hard is it to do fake blood? You watch, um, uh, uh like, um, blood on this one uh, dead woman towards the beginning of the movie. And it's after the fact that there's blood on her forehead, which I don't know how you get bitten on the neck and you get blood on your forehead, but fine. I'm falling again. Um, furthermore, uh,. The fake blood, it looks like it has this sheen of paint, you know, like really cheap stuff. And it's like, okay, this, this movie was not satisfied to have only one bad type of fake blood. It has about three. Because then she bites someone and it's this sort of stringy syrup uh, that doesn't look like blood at all. And, uh, and third, there's this big jar of uh, blood that she drinks out of, like this giant crystal um, um, thing. Uh, I don't know what to call it exactly, like a giant, uh, bottle, not a bottle, something with a, like a big glass. I don't know, I'm getting hung up on that, I'm getting distracted. Um, and she drinks out of it, and when she's moving and, and uh, moving the cup, I died again. When she moves the cup, it wobbles around like water or like soda, with that same sort of consistency. And then she passes it off to the, uh, to the protagonist, and she takes a sip, and then she says in the uh, under lines, this is blood. It's like, no, no it isn't. And it's like, only in a movie could you give a human blood to drink and they just look at it like as if it, they don't know what it is, because it's not actually blood. Um, 
But that gets to another thing. Is it's subtitled, and I have no problem with subtitles, but it is subtitled because I think it was redubbed from French into German, now with English subtitles. So every performance is at a right angle to itself, and it's just you know, there's 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 no way to get into it because the video and the audio performances don't match at all. Which is you know, annoying. I'm getting shot at. Um, which I mean is always going to be a problem with with dubbed uh, dubbed movies, but that's why generally I say you don't don't dub live action stuff. You just gotta unless it's Godzilla, in which case who the hell cares because it's Godzilla. Um, one the only thing I think I will defer from a popular opinion on this movie, which apparently this is a sort of a cult classic, um, because since there is something for the soundtrack that apparently was used in Jackie Brown. Which, I don't know why anyone would use anything in the soundtrack for this movie. The soundtrack in this movie sucks. It is just full of noise. It is it is dreadful. And the songs repeat, like, you know, probably seven times. Every time a certain something happens in the movie, um, they, uh, where am I? Um, oh boy, I'm getting lost. Like, it's just a couple of different scores, and it's really just screeching. Now... You know, what do I know about music? I don't know anything about music, but I know what makes me hate it as I listen to it, and that's what this soundtrack did, so... Maybe it works. I don't know what song, apparently, was taken out of it and used in Jackie Brown, but... I mean... The songs repeat enough that you such a be familiar with them, because I think there's like 10 minutes of score in it. Um, but it's all bad. It's, um, I'm having trouble determining the words exactly to come up with it. But, um, um, there may be a cut here while I, uh, try to figure out what the hell, uh, I'm gonna say. Um, so yeah, is it worth checking out? Probably not. I mean, unless you're a, uh, a Quentin Tarantino completist and you didn't know that this song was from another movie, which I don't see how that could be possible. Um... I'm trying to think of something else to say. Let me check my notes while the cinema runs. Oh yeah, the vampires in this movie don't act like any of the vampires. At the very beginning of the movie, there's a dance sequence where she's dancing in front of a mirror. And it's like, alright, not every um, vampire has to not have a reflection. That's fine, we all accept that because it's really sort of a, a hard one to sort of explain. But, on the other hand, then, um, then when they first meet their protagonist, She's laying in the uh, in the sun and talking about how she loves to sunbathe, and she doesn't seem to have fangs. It's like, all right, come on, you gotta get something right. Even Twilight, they have the sunlight as the sunlight's actually somehow involved. It's not uh, that it kills them, but it's just it reveals their supernatural power. I'm not gonna try to give her any more credit than is deserved, but it's like the vampireness is not even important to why they're doing it. It's just supposed to be erotic. And it's lame. Oh, I'm back to the menu now. That just showed I was playing chapter play. I guess that's all I got for now. Um, I don't know how interesting this is, but um, feel free to suggest more movies, just questions to answer, things to do. You know, I'm open to all ideas. Anyway, that's about it for me. If you like this, uh, let me know. Just make a comment or whatever, and uh, if I'm doing something totally wrong, let me know. We will find out if this was actually recorded or not, because, oh boy, that'd be dumb. Excuse me. Oh, this is getting cool. Drive home safe.